usually when you work with power bi desktop when you come to the data view and you have a table selected you will always see the number of rows you have within that table although you don't get to see the number of columns but you get to see the number of rows so on this table i have 99994 rows but if i come to the query editor that is power query you would see that i can see the number of rows i can see the number of columns i have here 21 columns i can't see the number of rows what i can see is 999 plus rows so whenever you have a data table that has up to 1000 rows all you get to see is 999 plus rows and sometimes it is very important for you to see how many rows you have within your data table right within the query editor even before you load to power bi so sometimes you want to see this what is the way to work around it so i have a way to work around this and for my own power bi here all i need to do is press alt and two so when i hit alt two i'll just see count nine 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 four rows so from any column i have selected i always see this 9994 and this tells me that i have 99994 rows on this table so if i want this information to disappear i'll just hit again alt 2. so how do we set this up so i'll show you how to set this up if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel kindly do so so you can receive all of our updates So to set that up in Power Query, I'll need the help of a little functionality here called Column Profile. So you find Column Profile on the View tab. So if I come to View tab, you will see this Column Profile here. So if I check this box now for Column Profile, you will easily see this section for Column Statistics. And the most important thing for me here is the count. So this tells me the number of rows I have. Unfortunately, the counts that you see here will always show 1000 by default now don't be deceived it's not 1000 so there's a little change you need to make to that and that change is just come over to the bottom of your power query window you will see this column profiling based on top 1000 rows so if i click on this information I will see an option to change it to column profiling based on entire data set so i'm just going to check this box column profiling based on entire data set and you see all of these statistics run all over again and this time around it should come and give me 9994 so now i have the 9994 but then i really want to i really don't want to continue to work like this so all i need to do is basically i'm just going to come back and uncheck this guy so i have the information i need all i need to do is come back and uncheck then because this is something i use frequently from time to time so what i do is i'm going to right click on this column profile and i'll say add to quick access toolbar so when i add this to my quick access toolbar you see it appear over the top left hand side here and when i press my alt key whatever number i find there is the keyboard shortcut to get there so when i press alt you will see that i have two above column profile so anytime i need to call this up all i need to do is alt 2 okay so if i hit alt 2 i have my column profile and i have the number of rows that i have and if i hit alt 2 again it goes off so you need to use this on a fresh table the next time so what you always do is so i have another table here so this time around i have a little small table that has just eight rows and as you can see i have an empty row there row four is empty it has no value so this is a null value but then just as you may have more than 1000 rows so the first thing you always want to do is first come down here and change this to column profiling based on the entire data set then you can use your alt keyboard shortcut to so alt 2 and i'm going to have my count it rows